Learning a language is one of the hardest fucking things you can do. It's a lot like learning the piano, except you have to cross your hands and play upside down. I mean, Chinese is written vertical from right to left. That's the, literally the complete opposite of how we write. When I was a kid, I thought that languages were all like, they all had the same grammar, like they were like one-to-one -one translations of each other. Ah, Spanish class. The first time I got confused about pronouns. Happens pretty often now. People get pissed when you mess up their pronouns, but if you ask me to call you they, them, I'm gonna ask where the rest of you are. I, I just see one person. I mean, when I was a kid, I had the worst Spanish teacher ever. I, I learned nothing from first grade to eighth grade. I literally left middle school only knowing how to say uno, dos, tres, azul, rojo, and tango un pene grande, which means I have a big penis. I didn't learn that one in class. But learning a language is so important. It gives you this whole new path to communicate with somebody that you wouldn't have been able to communicate with at all before. I've been watching this guy on YouTube called Jama NYC, and uh, he does these really interesting videos where he goes into Chinese restaurants as a white guy and speaks perfect Mandarin to the to the workers there, and it completely blows their minds. Dude definitely gets a lot of kung fu coochie, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I spent a lot of time learning a very specific language, and I'll let you guys try and guess what it is. I'll give you a second, okay? All right, you got it? Okay, let's just say it out loud. Three, two, one. Esperanto. Yeah, I learned a, f a fake language. You laugh, but I had a beautiful sexual experience at an Esperanto meetup where I ate out the asshole of a French Canadian girl. But that ain't on your resume. I actually got into like the inner circle of Esperanto speakers, and yes, there is an inner circle. And uh, it's I got there just by putting shit posts on YouTube for like two years. You can check out the channel, it's called Jake H. All the videos are still up. I embarrass myself in English pretty often. I make jokes that fall flat. I stumble over my words and I make myself look like an insensitive moron who still has a teenage mentality. But when I learn another language, I get to do all of those things, but in a different country. The effort that it takes to learn a new language is astounding. I mean, you can practice hours every single day for years straight and still only be able to communicate like a toddler who's slightly intelligent. Donde esta el baño? Donde esta la biblioteca? Donde esta mi papá? Se fue por leche y nunca regreso. I'd say the best place to start learning a new language is by learning all the curse words in Spanish. That way you can curse out your gardener when he puts down the wrong type of mulch. Again, if you fancy yourself a tax evader, Spanish is the go-to language. I'm just saying all the Panamanian banks are run by Hispanics. Sometimes I get super into the idea of learning like a weird rare language. Like one time I started learning Cosa, which even if you haven't heard the name Cosa, you've heard of Cosa because it's like that infamous African clicking language. I mean, the, the name of the language isn't even Cosa. It's more like Osa, like that. I stopped learning it when all the furniture in my room started floating around. Kind of freaked me out. When I was learning Esperanto, I wasn't really interested in the community. I just thought it seemed like a fun thing to do. But then I started to really get into it. And that's when I learned that most Esperanto speakers are Europeans. There's not a lot of American Esperantists. In fact, I actually got canceled by the Esperanto community because I represent everything that they hate. A cocky American imperialist with a very, very dark sense of humor. I actually got removed from like all of the Esperanto group chats for like literally one joke. And if you know me, it's gonna seem pretty fucking tame compared to the shit that usually leaves my mouth. Basically, they were all going off about how much they hate Boris Johnson. Now, I'm an American, I don't give a fuck about British politics. I know Boris Johnson's the Prime Minister of Britain, so I decided that I'm gonna go in there and fuck with them and pretend that I'm a huge Boris Johnson fan. They got really up in arms immediately. I, I mean, they were asking me those stupid European questions like, do you even know this guy's history? Do you know anything about this guy at all? I'm like, no, honey, I'm an American. I don't give a fuck. Apparently, this guy in college wrote, like, some letter about like hating Scottish people, which I just took as a joke. I mean, what have the Scottish done besides invent some of the world's worst fucking food? So I went along with that as well, and I'm like, yeah, I agree. We should exterminate all of the Scottish people because they wear kilts. I don't like kilts. That was the joke. I got removed from every Esperanto group chat immediately after saying that. But so I reach out to the guy who like runs the group chat, and this is like a serious, like this is the Esperanto group chat. It's got like a thousand people in it. It's huge. And I'm like, what the hell, man? Why did, why did you remove me for that joke? It was clearly a joke. And you know, it doesn't, he's not having any of it. And uh, it, it was at that point that I realized that uh, Europeans don't really like genocide jokes because of events in their fairly recent history. But I was canceled by the Esperanto community, and I get it, I said some fairly incendiary things, and I pissed a lot of people off with them. Honestly though, I feel like it kind of worked out for me, because I don't think a lot of people get to say that they were canceled by the Esperanto community. I was canceled by a group of fucking nerds from Europe. How fun is that? That's another thing I'm sticking on my resume. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you comment, like, subscribe, and do all of those things, and I'll see you what the fuck is going on with my hands? I'll see, I'll see you guys later this week or something. I don't know. Thanks.